Hello everybody, my name is Billy Burton. Welcome to another episode of PWA. With me as always is Jacob Broke Brown. Yes, it is Jacob Broke Brown, but actually you know what? I think I've made myself up to middle class. I am so happy. i actually I actually have I can actually afford to live in my apartment now. I'm so happy. Yeah. Yeah, I have a roommate. What about the fumigator? What's for the For the cockroaches. I'll have cockroaches. A buddy, come on. You you live above the worst bar in the city. And they had a bunch of problems with cockroaches. I hate when you reveal my personal stuff on commentary. Sorry. Man. Anyways, guys, ladies and gentlemen, starting off first, we have Silverback, PWA's original monster in the ring, getting ready for a big fight tonight. Yeah, I mean, there's been some other big men that came. But as apparently so back's the original, because he was the first person to ever make their entrance to PWA. So. Yeah. First person to make their entrance? Perfect. Yep. We're so far away from the table. I, a little bit closer. I, I am right here. I am pretty close. close. Get close, Jacob. I am pretty oh, close. Oh, never mind. Don't get close, Jacob Brown. Oof. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Okay, you gotta stop insulting me. Really well, you, gotta, you gotta pay for your water in your apartment. I do pay for my water in my apartment. I think, I think you're imagining. I think you're imagining that fan right there. I don't know. And oh, here comes Juan Santos. Oh, sorry. His pyro still scares me, you know. Everybody pyro scares me. Okay? I'm not a very big fan of pyro. Why not? What's wrong with pyro? Because it scares me. Because it comes out of nowhere. Okay. I expect it then. Yeah. But yeah. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready here for a massive match taking place here. Juan Santos versus Silverback. What are your thoughts going into this match, Jacob Brown? I feel bad for Juan Santos. Why do you feel bad for Juan Santos? Actually, you know what? I can't say that because Juan Santos has proven in the past that he can fight anybody. Yeah, exactly. But he is going. But this is the first time he's ever fought. The, PWA's original monster. That's very true. The first time that Swan Santos has ever taken on Silverback. And uh, it's going to be a big fight feel for Juan Santos here tonight. Yeah. I love Juan Santos' theme song. It's so good. Yeah. Right, here we go. The matchup's going to be officially underway. Starting right now. And the matchup's officially underway. And oh, right out of the gate. Juan Santos right out of the gate. He had that hot fire coming. Yeah, hot fire drop kick already. Uh, oh! oh! Big leg drop off the top rope there. Silverback, here we go. Silverback around. Juan Santos. Come on, talk a little bit, Jacob Brown. I was letting you talk. You had, you had a, like a periodic where, where you didn't talk for a bit. Here we go. Oh, oh, what an arm drag. Wow, beautiful arm drag. Reversing the momentum that Silverback was trying to build for himself right there. And now, uh-oh. Silverback uses this. His size, of his definitely power advantage. Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, oh. God, that suplex. Surprised he could pick up the big man. Yeah. Uh, Silverback's very close to 300 oh. pounds. I think he's like 282 or something like that. I don't know. I would have to like literally, well, literally look at him on a scale. Yeah. Oh, DDT. Oh, I know he's something close to 300 it's pounds. Something so, close, Like yeah. 275 or something like that. So. Yeah. And here comes, oh, oh no. No, Juan Santos, he's going after Silverback, but no. Oh, oh takes him down with the arm. Yeah, big move by PWA's radio monster. Uh-oh. Oh, oh a nice, massive meat to the gut. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. a beautiful backbreaker there. And breaking the back. Juan Santos has oh, dear. taken control. And oh, oh, good night. And look at this. He can be setting up oh, for it. I forget what we call this move. Called something though. No. Oh. 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 We're going to have to look back on the old episodes remember what we called it. Yeah. He has a name for it. I'm going to just have to talk to him. One. Two. two no. Oh. It's not going to keep down the original monster that quickly. No. And here comes. Here comes Silverback. Oh, it was in the ropes. Comes back. Oh my god. He just pushed him over like nothing. Yep. And here come and Silverback again. Oh no! Oh, oh look at this! Oh, oh that oh. caught him for a bear hug, but, but no. no! Oh, he's about to lift him over for a belly belly suplex. But if if I think honestly, if 
Silver back caught him with that bear hug. It could have been very close to being over. Oh, it would have definitely been over. Yeah. And uh oh, look at this. Silverback or Silverback's in trouble. Oh, massive oh, man. boot to the huge midsection. Boot. Uh oh, he's going for it again. Here he goes. Silver oh, no. oh no, Silverback moves out of the way. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. It's all good. It's all good. Well, oh, oh. And Juan Santos. Oh, he tries to take him up. Oh, we got him that time. A little less. Oh. oh, he's able to counter. Look at Silverback. No. Oh. Oh, we went for that big Insiguri kick. That 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 move has been known to pretty much end matches. It's amazing that a guy that size can jump up with that kind of Insiguri. Though. Yeah, that's, very impressive. That scares me. Uh oh, look at this Juan Santos. He's got him up. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Oh, oh what a counter from Santos. Yeah. And he goes to the cover. One, two, no. Juan Santos using his speed advantage on Silverback to defeat him. Right now, yeah, absolutely. Silverback is uh, pretty quick himself, but Juan Santos is just quicker. Yeah. Oh, a massive clothesline to fall to end out that amazing combination. No. Of strikes. And Juan Santos, he's starting to get. He's a little bit dizzy. Or tired. Or tired. That's what I meant. And now he's showing off. And then getting the fans hyped. Juan Santos, man, there's a lot to get hyped about when you watch Juan Santos in the ring. Oh, it was from the corner. Oh! oh he got hung up there. Jeez, that was a big, big shift. Well, wait a minute. Oh, Juan geez, Santos geez. again. Notice that Silverback's busted open there. I didn't even notice. Oh, 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 here we go. This neck breaker again. Here we go. Oh. Go to the cover. One. One. One two. two. No! no! Silverback is just unstoppable. I think Juan Santos needs to try to do something else here. Try to get something else going here. Maybe this might work, what he's doing right now. Uh, he's call, oh, I, I don't know if that's smart, though. Do you want to call Silverback back to his feet? I don't know, but here uh, he goes. Oh! oh! He nails him with that massive knee strike. Beautiful and dominating knee strike. But Silverback, he shugs it off like nothing, though. Yep. Oh, oh, right to the opposed to the eyes. You got to do it with it with a man like Silverback. Yep. Though. Because look, look, see, he has no effect to it whatsoever. And he, oh, oh good night. Night. heel kick. And now, and Silverback, he's trying to get back up to his feet. He's staggering, but no, no whip to the corner. This match, man. Juan Santos once again just using the speed advantage that he possesses. And he's just he's using that to his full advantage here. Oh, and a nice headlock takedown. Yeah, beautiful move there, buddy. Juan Santos. He's trying to he's trying to Oh, roll through. And no and no cover. And look at this, he goes to the oh. pin. One, two, two. No. no, that's not gonna take down Silverback. No, no, Juan Santos was trying to do anything. Oh, but Silverback's back up. This could spell disaster for Juan Santos. An oh, angry I think Silverback. You, I was thinking you sent up for that. Oh, uh, Oh! Oh! Right on the face. He was about an inch away from that bottom rope. Yeah, that could have been. Yes, missed it. Oh, oh wait a minute. Man. Urinagi. Oh! Standing Urinagi by Silverback, PWA's original monster. And look at that. He's got blood pouring down his face. Doesn't even, doesn't even phase him. Oh! oh that senton. match would have been over if he hit that. If he hit the rolling senton, match should have been done. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Again. Reversal. Russian leg sweep by Silverback. And now this match has really turned into a Silverback. Yep. Silverback. You cannot let Silverback get in control like this. As soon as it does, it spells the beginning of the end for a match. But wait. The speed of Juan Santos. Oh. This He's is trying. No. The quickness yeah, of Silverback. Going back and forth. Oh, oh. Good night. Good night. It's over. The Silverback in Siguri. And now he's trying to set him up for something. But Juan Santos. Oh. So you can see Juan is dazed though from that move. That's why he's going for the pin right now. Yeah, he's dazed. He needs a, a breather for a second. But it wasn't enough to take down Silverback because no. Silverback is a monster. Do people not realize that he is a monster? Yeah. He's got blood going down his head. And now look at this. I think he can be setting up for the end there. Uh oh. Yes, he can. Oh. Uh oh. No. Welcome to the jungle. Oh. That's what he calls it. Welcome to the jungle. One, two, no. What? What's it gonna take? 
don't put know. either one of these men down. Both men have came with their big moves. Maybe, maybe Silverback will need that massive roaring sent on. Yeah, maybe. That he's put away quite a bit of people with. Um, yeah. Joe B.B. Ehrman. <laughs> yeah. Put, that away, put Joe B.B. Ehrman away with that. Yeah. Not, I wouldn't really call that massive competition, though. No, it's not massive competition. Has he even been back? I don't think he's been uh, back ever yeah, since. Yeah, Austin White. Oh, yeah, he faced Austin White. Last week. Oh! Or two weeks ago, sorry. <clears throat> I don't. Last week's show was. Or la the last show we had was really good. Yeah, new oh, champion. Oh! oh! New champion. No, we didn't. Two! No! Oh. Just a barely kick out. And Juan Santos, he could be setting up for it. He hasn't hit this yet. Oh, yeah, I know. Not yet, not yet. yet. Boom! Oh, one! one. Two. two! No! He kicked out at two. How did... What's it going to take to keep him down? Maybe one more. Maybe one more. Maybe. Oh, oh. wait. This time, the neck breaker! <laughs> that could be it. Silverback's out. His eyes are rolled back into his one, head. One, two, two three. three! That's it! And Juan Santos has beaten the original... Monster. Yeah, PW's original monster has been defeated. I think this is Silverback's first single loss. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, all right. That was this matchup. One more time, I was picked up for victory. Now we have to do a sponsorship thing. Yeah. So you won't even get to see the entrances for the next yeah, match. Yeah. Okay. All right, we will see you guys there. Peace. And here we go, the matchup is officially underway, and we oh. saw that stupid sponsorship. Yeah. That stupid orange shoot guy, man. Yeah. That was so stupid. I don't know. And here someone got a free gift bag, though, that's all. Yeah, someone got a free and gift bag. And we start off right into this match. That suplex that you saw at the beginning was literally the beginning of this match. They locked up, and Mondo Cash hit that suplex. But now, so we have the team of Arctic Ace and Lyle Frost, a.k.a. Below Zero, against Mondo Cash... And Jamie oh, Richardson. Oh, that's, that's going to be an excellent They don't have up. a team name yet, but this is a brand new team up on Twitter. They talk to each other, and they... Oh, big elbow. And this match has been all Mondo Cash and Richardson so far. Yeah. Here it comes. Oh, look at this. Oh, Dragon Whip. Yeah, you know Arctic Ace is able to prevail through things, though. And here comes Arctic Ace. Oh, whips him to the outside. Nice. Getting a, ta getting a tag to Law Frost. That's... uh. And, and here we go. Um, Mono Cash whipped him in the corner. I was a little bit delayed there. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit excited from that last matchup. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, and uh, that stupid orange guy. I know I said this already, but he was really stupid looking. Well, it's just a morph suit. I know. It was a really stupid looking suit. Very stupid looking suit. At least he can afford something like that. For like 30 bucks. Oh my goodness. Oh, single leg takedown. Oh, look at this. Oh man. Oh, uh. Oh, what's that called? I, I don't know. And oh, look at this. Oh, Northern Light Suplex. Yeah, Northern Light Suplex. No bridge though, no pin. Oh, that just doing that move to cause some damage there. Oh, nice. Oh, he's working shot. him into his opponent's. Oh! oh! That was a stiff knee right to the face. Just realized Jamie Richardson. Hasn't been in yet either. It's all been Mono Cash this whole match. Yeah, well, well, we are only like four minutes in. That's true. So here oh, we go. Kick to the gut. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Oh, thuns that flip power oh. bomb. Does not go for the pin. No. Maybe he doesn't like to go for the pin. Right. Uh oh, look at this Mono Cash. Just this one. He said that he was trying to reach for it. Yeah. Oh, watch this. Oh, big. Oh! oh! His left ankle went into that second turnbuckle very hard. Oof, ouch. Kicked him in the head. Got him some separation, but no. Over. Down. Onto the apron. And makes the tag. Yeah, look at that. Very oh, he's going for the tag. He's standing there. He can't take his partner. Oh! Well, he decided not to. Maybe he was just causing some separation there. Oh! Trying to ca catch oh. a breather. Oh! And now look at that. Some massive hurricane run. Oh, man. There's got to be a time where you got to tag into your partner. Now he's got to crawl all the way around. Didn't work again. Jamie Richardson, once again, not in the match. Uh-oh. Oh. So 
way oh, dear God. right round, baby, right Stop round. singing, please. Okay. Take a bad mic. Look at my ear. It's literally bleeding because of you. No, it's not. But, oh, my God, he just swung like... She swung him like a... I don't know. That was good. I love that. <laughs> that was awesome. You're such a good commentator. I know. I'm, I'm really good. Ow! Good. So good. Almost as good as your commentating skills. And look at this. Oh! And he takes him over with the... <clears throat> hip toss. Hip hip toss. Oh, arm thing. It, too. it was it was like a hip toss arm. It was like a standing wing lock takeover. Oh, okay. And oh! oh no cash hitting away there. No. Oh, and that, a fireman's carry takeover. And uh oh, look at this. Here we go. He goes for it. No. no. Nothing Mono there. Cash. Got cut off. Oh, Hurricane oh, Rana by Mondo Cash. Wow, big move there. You never thought to see that from Mondo Cash. No, he's a he's a very grounded guy. Takes to the air very, very, very rarely. Oh, Lyle oh. Cross is in trouble. Oh. oh, he's not done. He's got him for oh. another one. Wait, maybe one more. He's trying to paralyze him, man. Oh. oh. I think he tried, he tried to paralyze him. Jamie Richardson looking pretty an antsy on the stage there. On the apron, sorry, there. And look at this. Look at that beautiful celebration there. <coughs> it wasn't really beautiful, but it was interesting. Yeah. Oh, oh, went for that big boot that we've seen before by Mondo. Mondo tried to go for something but an arm drag. And now, look at this one for the DDC, but no, what a counter. No. Oh, oh dear. Not this, this again. Oh! Swinging neck breaker. And Lyle Frost has got to get to his partner, but Mondo Cash is not letting him. No tags, apparently. Oh, oh with your Spanish oh, fly! Oh, Spanish fly. What a move. I'd say, so you can say that again. And oh, oh dear. Uh -oh. What is happening here? What is happening here? Oh, no, 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 no. Hardest part of the ring. Oh! That's not fun. That hurts. How would you know? You've never even been in a ring. I, I, I can tell you that, <clears throat> that I've heard from stories that that is the hardest part of the ring. Okay. And because you just said it. Let's move on. And here comes Lau. Oh! Got cut off before he was able to even do anything. Wait, what? Oh my god, what's he going for here? No! No, 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 no! Oh! Barely missed the apron. Did you hear the thud sound? I think people from the very back row could hear the thud sound. We heard it from all the way up here. Yeah. You can see, look at him. I don't know if you guys can see it, but Lau Frost! Here comes Jamie Richardson. For the first time in the match, someone's been oh. tagged in. Actually, no. Our TK started the match. Oh, yeah, that's right. And he clotheslined him to the outside. Yep. I think we just missed that. I think because we were too busy talking. That's okay. We, we were allowed to talk. There's yeah. no rule against us talking. Yeah. We're, we're, not, we're not... Oh, oh. oh. No. 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 Don't what do that. Don't do it. Here? Don't do that. Oh! oh my what? God. He landed... His arm smacked against uh, Mono Cash's leg. Yeah. I don't know how Lyle Frost... again, Lyle Frost is throwing an opponent to the ring. Oh, but... Yeah, yeah, I think this is our first look at Jamie Richardson. Yeah. Or it might be second. Second, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he was in the newcomer's match. I forgot about that. Oh, here comes the tag. <clears throat> oh, no. Wait, no, this is our first look at Jamie Richardson, I think. Yeah, this is... I oh, this dear. Is. Oh! Oh! Not, maybe not School the best look Jamie bomb. Richardson. No, I swear to God, maybe I think it was maybe two shows ago he was in. I don't know. We'd have to go back and look. Yeah. Oh, oh we're seeing. You see, these shows get so hectic around here. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. What's Jamie Richardson gonna do here? What's he looking for here? Picks oh. him up. No. Oh. Oh. Well, whatever Ow. was going on, we didn't see oh, it. Oh, went for the spear, oh. but a DDT into that bottom rope. Big move there. But, but. But Arctic Ace uh, got caught, and now look at this. No. No, they both men squaring up with each other. Not neither of them going the, down. I both think of them big strong I think, men. I think, yeah, I was gonna say. I think these two are the powerhouses of these two. Yeah. So oh. respected teams. Yeah. Jamie Richardson never takes it to the air. No. Oh, wait, he's got him up this time. Could he be going for what he was going for? I don't. Oh. oh. Go to sleep. I don't know if I would. Uh, man, you're giving me your bad announcing skills. Um, oh, I don't think that's what he was going for earlier, but he still knocked with 
that thing on the mark. I can't even talk, man. You, you, I think you passed off your bad announcing skills to me. Yeah, I know. I think I got your good commentating skills now. No. And your <laughs> arm drag. No, you did not. And here comes, oh, Jamie Richardson. He goes for a pin cover. It lifts off Frosto. Oh, oh, wow. Frosto cover. Man. I thought he was going to pay for it. Oh, he is going to pay for it, I think. Oh! Oh, that busted him open. Ow. That looked like that really Now hurt. watch Jamie pump handle. What the oh. heck is he going for here? Pump Whoa. handle. Oh! oh! Pump handle driver! Big move there. One, two. No! Oh, oh. Chest got broken up. That would have been three. That could have been. Archie Gates was no way looking to kick out that pump handle driver. I think that's one of Jamie Richardson's bigger moves there. Oh, and La Frost nails him. Uh, Mondo Cash on the neckbreaker. And now look at this. Archie Gates, he's starting to gain control. Yeah, Archie Gates. Momentum. Oh, oh, as soon as I say that, though. And now you got the two non legal competitors fighting on the outside. Well, not oh, anymore. and Seguri. No. <clears throat> and look at this. These two, these two powerhouses are going back and forth. And he's telling him, bring it on! I don't know if that was the smartest idea. I'm going to be honest. Come on, Arctic Ace. You're smarter than Oh! That. Now he told Jamie Richardson, bring it on. We know Arctic Ace likes to fight, man. He's probably like a bit... He's a bit... I, I think Arctic Ace is one of the most underappreciated people in PWA. Yeah. He is an amazing talent. Yeah. He, do, he beats up everybody. Mm -hmm. But... But the problem is that... This tag team, th these guys work well together. They work very well together. They but just... they don't work as well as other teams. Uh, other teams. No, I think Below Zero work very well together. They've been a tag team on the indie scene. No, I, for a no, long I time wasn't now. saying that. I was saying that compared to the other teams, like you have the you have the two brothers, you have the best friends. Saturn Bros. I mean, Below Zero has gotten more opportunities than the Saturn Bros. I mean, right now Saturn Bros got a good opportunity, but yeah, I mean. It's, in my opinion, Below Zero has been doing a lot better than the Saturn Bros. Yeah. In ring. Well, yeah, because the last two weeks they... Two. Oh, look at this. Richardson got one. countered one. Two. two. No. Oh. Yeah, because the last, the last two shows, they've lost to the tag... But each of them lost to a tag champion. Oh! oh nice sit-out powerbomb. Careless Christopher Clarence defeated... Jimmy. Jimmy. And Mark Jamie Holden lost Jamie. to... Lost to Mark. Oh, what's going on here? But... Oh, oh, you never know. The thing about Jamie that I've realized, you never know what this guy's going to hit. No. He's always hitting something different. Oh! oh big jumping knee. And look, and Jamie Richardson, Richardson is he looking to uh, end this matchup right here? I don't know. He might be going for that pump handle driver again. Pump oh. handle driver. Oh! That could be it. Goes to the cover. One. One two. Again. No, Arctic, it, it was, this time it was Arctic Ace breaking it up. Yep. Oh! That was a stiff shot. And wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, no! He lift, jumped over. Reverse DDT. And Arctic Ace. Oh, he just took out the ref oh, by accident. Oh. I think he meant to go out to Mondo, but the ref just got in the way, man. And he hit him with a clothesline by accident. And, and, uh, we need a med Do we need medical personnel? I don't know. Refs like to be out for a couple minutes, so he might be out for a little bit. He'll be alright. Yeah, I just hope that I just hope that there's not gonna be a pin here. <clears throat> Someone like hits a big move. <clears throat> Excuse you. Thank you. And oh, look at this, Jamie Richardson. Oh dear. Oh my. What the heck is this? Oh! oh crushing see? both knees. Like I was talking about, Jamie Richardson, very creative move set. He always hits something really weird, but it works. Yeah. Oh, and a GDC. <clears throat> if you missed it, oh, crap, uh, I need something to drink, man. My throat's killing me. If 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 you missed it, he uh. Uh, La Frost <clears throat> gave him an arm drag. Mm, I saw. Okay. And here comes Mono Cash. He's back in the ring. Oh, oh. missed that boot. <clears throat> oh! N nice dip punch to the ground, but he sends him back down to the ground. Yeah, you gotta love you gotta love these PWA shows. Oh, I love them, man. They're so entertaining. Oh, no. Brings it down. Oh! <clears throat> oh, my God, man. Can you, hear it? Can you hear it in my throat? Yeah. You're starting to lose. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. Got a little bit of sickness. Down with the sickness. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, reverse DDT. And Mondo Cash has regained control. Oh, yeah. Just when I say that, Lyle Frost does a Lyle Frost. Oh! oh! That was stiff right to the face. And he goes to the cover. One. One two. two. Oh, no. I, thought, I thought that knocked him unconscious. I no. thought that was three. No. I guess that was payback for the stiff shot he gave Arctic Ace earlier. Yeah. That could very well be. 
And now look at this. Oh. No. Oh. Running neck breaker there. <clears throat> Mono Cash. Oh no, again. No. Lyle Frost is just. Oh. 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 How many power bombs is Lyle Frost going to have to receive, man? Oh, look at this. Look at this. He's doing what. Oh, oh God. Frost did earlier. Oh, Spin no. Spin him around. Spin me. Okay, I won't do it again. If you sing again. I won't do it. But he's. Bring oh in my CEO God. Brett back on the commentary oh. table like oh last week. Oh, my goodness. He's going to throw up. Oh. How was that man not thrown up? And now look at this. He's going for it. Oh! oh big super kick. And that's he's not going for the cover. Maybe he's going for something else. That could show the costume. Just look at this. Uh oh. No! Oh, swinging neck breaker. Big neck breaker, yep. Yeah. And Lyle Frost, again, he's showing off. He's showing off that he can still fight. Yeah, well, we've known Lyle Frost is able to withstand a lot. Oh, yeah, we've learned that the last couple of shows. Oh, wait. Oh, he went for a tag to Jamie Richardson. But Lyle Frost not letting that happen either. But again. Arctic Ace on the ringside trying to get the fans hyped up for <clears throat> Lyle Frost. And now Mondo Cash. And he makes a tag to Jamie Richardson. This cannot be good for Lyle Frost. As look at this. Oh, Lyle Frost. Wait a minute. Picks him up. Oh, dear. Oh, oh power bomb. One. One. To, oh, oh, broken up. Another stiff punch to Arctic Ace. But yeah. look at Mondo Cash, but pay for that. Oh! Now that leaves it down to the two legal competitors as both of them are out on the outside. And uh oh, oh Jamie Richardson. Oh. oh! Big back body drop. Jamie Richardson knows he needs to end this. He says, he knows, probably knows this is the perfect time, but no. Lyle Frost knows the exact same thing. <clears throat> Uh oh. Uh oh. Sunset flip. Power bomb. One, two. No, no. That's, that's not gonna put away Richardson. I, that could have been the opening. Oh no! 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 Not no! Not this again. No! Come on. No. The pump handle driver. Oh. Good night. And look at this smart tactic by Richardson. He drags him into his corner to go for the cover. That could be it. One, two, three! And what an upset. Yeah, too close to the corner. Arctic Ace, I think, was smart enough to know if you ran over there. You would have been token out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and and Below Zero's unfortunate little mini losing streak continues. Yeah, they've had a little losing streak. Not too big, though. Nothing to really... No. Yeah. Not, not to write home about. Mm -hmm. But still, a little bit of a losing streak. Maybe the hopefully they can get back on track. But you know what? <clears throat> Jamie Richardson's like a monster. Jamie Richardson, incredibly smart. Yeah. Very, very psychologically smart. He knows how to pick at the body. He knows how to pick away at the opponent and every little body part. He's also very smart. He went to a very good university. He's a big, powerful guy, but he's also a very smart guy. All right, that was this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into the next match. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This <clears> is the <throat> final match. Before the intermission break. Yep. I need some water or something for the intermission. Yeah, we'll intermission. get you some water. Don't worry. Anyways, yeah, this is the final match, and I, I don't know what this match is, to be honest with you. I don't even know. Oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Okay. That's not good. We were sitting here for a long time anticipating, but it is... Andre King? The new guy? Yeah, I think so. Brand new guy here? Yeah. <laughs> I know who he is. He's local to, like... To Ontario area, very young. He's only eight. He's younger than Mark Gold. Yeah, Mark Gold is what 19? 19. Andre King. He he turned 18 four months ago. Wow. That he started wrestling when he was 14 though. <laughs> so he is experienced in that ring. Yeah, very experienced. But he's only turned 18 four months ago. He's very oh, young. Oh, I can imagine. He only was 30. Yeah. He can be a 16 year veteran. Yeah. It's crazy. The young. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. Like, he, he's very. I heard he's very talented. Yeah, he's very talented. If you in the Ontario area, you guys would see his work. But he's also started traveling. After he turned 18, he started traveling. Yeah. He's gone to, in the short four months he's been 18, he's gone to Quebec, Ontario. He's gone to Vancouver. 
He's he, gone. He's gone to New York. He's been to uh, Michigan. Mm. That, I think that's the first. <clears throat> Another new guy here. Uh oh. We got Art Bar. Art Bar. Ooh. Why don't I like start them? Anyways, yes, Art Bar here, ladies and gentlemen. He's ready. He's here to debut. Mm -hmm. And is this gonna be a nice one-on-one -on -one debut match? Oh man. I think that's what it's gonna be. Two brand new talents. And I think we had Jimmy Richardson was it was his debut, I believe, as well. So three new members of PWA, man. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, Art Bar. A wild Texan wrestler. He's from Texas, Austin, Texas. And he's coming all the way up to Canada for this show. Yeah. Toronto, we're in Toronto. Yeah. All the way up to Toronto from Austin, Texas. So it's a big so, travel for So him. is this going to be a, a matchup? <clears throat> Here we go. I'm excited for this one. Yeah, this is one on one. He's, our bar is a very skilled guy. He's 28 years old. Yeah. Uh, he's been in the ring since he was like 19. Very skilled. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We're, we're, we're what? Playing. There's another theme song. What's going on here? Is there a more another person? I don't, Have we been being boozled? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Haven't you heard it? Oh, sorry. Oh, that was just our first theme. Yeah, let's <laughs> continue with our first theme. Yeah, it's okay. And Whoa. we got a, another competitor here. Oh. Who is it? Logan Gates. How, do you know about anything about this guy? <clears throat> yes, I actually do know a little bit. I'm actually surprised to see him here because I didn't even see him backstage. So he is from um, Los Angeles. Ah, okay. California. He is he is dubbed in that area as the no uh, as the American psychopath. The American psychopath. Yeah. Logan Gates is apparently he's well known for being quite psychotic in that side of the ring and not having remorse for any of his opponents inside the ring. That's very dangerous. Yeah, why do you think he's gotten the nickname the American Psychopath Logan Gates? Yeah. <clears throat> so is this gonna be a triple threat? I'm guessing. I don't know I don't know what to believe anymore watching PWA. Yeah, you don't know. It's, you don't know what Brett's got up his sleeve. Brett Harvey told us anything about this show. He's like, okay just go here and announce you guys aren't gonna really know who the matches are. Well he told us one match. He only told us one match. That was the tag title match. That's because it was set. Yeah. Right, and we anticipate. Well, and we knew the Juan Santos Silverback match. Yeah. And oh, we're nice. sitting here waiting. Interesting look. Oh, uh, uh, we got another competitor. Another competitor here tonight. Let's see who who could this possibly be. Who knows? He, he freaking anybody, man. I'm just, This is too. Who is he? Damien Drake. Who is he? So Damien Drake, he is 26 years old. He's only spent a year and a half in wrestling, though. A year and a half in pro wrestling. Almost okay. a year. All right. Before coming to pro wrestling, he was a world-renowned amateur wrestler. Ah. He's done amateur wrestling and through college, through high school. Apparently, his his mother put him through amateur wrestling when he was in diapers. That's not um, <clears throat> so hard. Well, I don't know, but his whole life he's been an amateur wrestler. However, he said he went to a local. I, this is on an article about him. He went to a local independent show one time and instantly fell in love with it. And yeah. so he laced up the boots, started started training. <clears throat> yep. And he's been at it for about a year and a half now. But he's already made a big name for himself outside of amateur wrestling. In professional wrestling, he's made a pretty big name for himself. Yes, he's won multiple championships all across many promotions in the Canada and USA. Mm -hmm. All right, and well, let's... Uh, is that it? Four? I, I, I like his attire. Yeah, he is kind of really cool. Yeah. Of course, based on amateur wrestling. All right. Whoa! Oh. We got another guy. That's <clears> another... <throat> we got five? Yeah. Oh, I know who this is too. Holy, you know a lot of people, man. Yeah. This guy is his nickname is the Lone Spaniard. The Lone Spaniard. He's from 
and this is real. He lives here right currently in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Holy. He lives in San Juan, Puerto Rico, wrestles in Puerto Rican companies. He is called the Lone Spaniard. He he says he was born and raised on the streets, and his only way of life, is, the only way he knows life, is on the streets. But he turned to pro wrestling to save himself from the life of crime. Only 23 years old as well. Yeah, a lot of young, you got a lot <coughs> of competitors here. Yeah. Long, I said long. The only oldest competitor here in this match so far is the 27 year old Art Bar. Or the 28 year old Art Bar, sorry. Yeah, and, and this is it. Hold on, they're looking towards. Oh, oh! Another one! We got six. Okay, six is too much. Whoa! Oh, what a. Big. Okay, I don't know who this is. I have no idea who this guy is. No, this guy is. almost looks like he's almost eight feet tall, though. He's got to be seven, seven six, man. He's got to be at least eight feet tall. Holy crap, this guy's huge. Very muscular too. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of pyro. All right, what's his name? This guy's name is Isaac Ray. Isaac Ray. Do you know anything about Isaac Ray, man? I honestly don't. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe we gotta call to uh, Brett to see what he you knows. Oh my god. Oh. No! Isaac Rage, look at the size of this guy, man. Like, like look at it. He, he, he's like, almost, he's almost like, like, if he were to build another set of ropes, mm -hmm. he could probably, he'd probably pull in that set of ropes. Yeah. I know, the, the, the top set of ropes is like, at his abdomen. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Okay. Alright. That's got Here we go. This match. Getting ready. Guys, I'm excited. I'm excited for the six man match. I think it's elimination. Because oh. I, I think they announced. Hold on. Why, why is another competitor entered the ring yet? Maybe he doesn't want to be in the same ring as him. I wouldn't want to be in the same ring as him. Yeah, me neither. Isaac Rage looking like he's ready. What? No. We got another one. What the heck is going on? Another, here? another one. Oh, wait. It's Patrick Matthews. He's back. He hasn't been seen since the first show in oh. the Battle Royals. Yeah, he's back. Welcome back, Kendrick Matthews. Boom! Oh. Oh. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I remember that, thankfully, so that didn't scare me. Yep. I saw it, I saw it set up there. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, man, I need water, man. This match is... Just, just seeing these competitors. Kendrick Matthews, welcome back to PWA. What kind of matchup is this, though? <coughs> Seven competitors? Yeah. Holy, like, it could be, it could be anything. It could be a scramble. It could be, it could be uh, another battle royal. It, it, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but he takes forever to get to the ring. I remember this. He always takes his time. He likes to soak in the crowd, you know. He's a good guy. Fans love him. Yeah. But. You know, he's very serious when coming out to the ring calendar. He's very serious. He's very serious up until he wins the match. Yeah. <clears throat> Kendrick Matthews, another another great guy. We, we talked about before. You actually knew about him before when he first came out. Yeah. Like, he had that life of crime or whatever. Yeah, he had the for wrestling. Yeah, another person who, who's life of crime. Yeah, apparently, we hire criminals. Well, one of them stopped from life of crime. One of them... Did have a pass. Did have a pass. But yeah, Kendrick Matthews, great. And yeah, Kendrick Matthews, I'm excited. This looks like it's gonna be a great seven man match, Jacob Brown. Yeah, seven competitors. That's crazy. That's gonna be the, that's the second most right. amount of people we've had in our ring. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they, if they can all fit in the ring. Well, actually, I think they can because they have done it before, but. I do, Isaac Rage in the rank. He takes up like a whole he quarter of the, the ring. ring, man. And hold on, everyone's still not coming back into the ring. Uh, wait a minute. Oh. Wait a second. Is he back too? No. Not the best wrestler of all time. Oh no. Not the best wrestler of all time. That's not William King. It's oh. Mark White! Mark White's back from his worldwide tour! He did a tour from around the world. He wrestled in Europe, Australia, Africa, everywhere, South America. He wrestled everywhere. He did a Mark White tour. Oh, and now yeah. he's back in PWA. Yeah, he's a very skilled competitor, so you know what? He deserves a world tour. Mm -hmm. 
Mark White, an eight-year veteran of the business, and one of the most popular guys in the North American scene. Yeah, absolutely. He had a he had an excellent uh, showing last time he was here at PWA in the Battle Royal. In the Battle Royal, both Kendrick Matthews and Mark White haven't been seen since the very first show. Yeah. And now they're back together in the same match. Yeah. Actually, no, they were in different categories. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm got Oh, wait. The ring announcer just announced an eight-man pinfall battle royal. Oh. Whoa. Couldn't have done that before. And here go the matches is officially underway. So much ash in the ring. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep up. We got Damon Drake with Art Bar. Oh! Logan Gates with Isaac Grage. Andre King with Eon Santos. And, and Mark White with Kendrick Matthews. Ah, alright, here we go. So we got a bunch of new people. Mm -hmm. And we got two returning figures. Here we mm -hmm. go. Gonna be a great match. Now look at Logan Gates going on to Isaac Rage. Yeah. The American psychopath. Oh! Oh! Definitely showing why he's... Watch Eon over there. Watch Eon in the other corner up with, over on the other side of the ring. Watch Eon. Oh! oh diamond crossbody. A picture-perfect crossbody. And there's so much action, I don't even know what to go on here. Oh, Trip STO by Isaac Rage on the Logan Gates. And so this matchup is a pinfall battle royal. Mm -hmm. Pinfall, submission, or legal. Kendrick Matthews. Oh. And this is like a rare thing that we've seen. We haven't really seen this. The, because the battle royals that we had before were over the top, over the top rope. Mm -hmm. And now I'm looking, I'm looking forward to this because this could end up being crazy. Yeah. Could be very much. So it is very easy to get someone over a top rope. Yeah, it is. Not as easy to keep someone down for a three count. Oh, and the gut wrench suplex combo, combo from Andre King. Boom! Look, look at how the young kid just powers that guy up. Yeah. Insane strength by Andre King. Definitely. Uh oh, Kenny Matt looks. Trying to close him out of the ring, but that was a weird, weird clothesline that seemed to really hurt. And now look at this. Uh oh. Got him in powerball position. Oh, he turns it around. Oh. Oh. Face first off the top turnbuckle. And Andre King now. Oh. Is turned over by. Oh, look at that. Isaac Rich. Oh, Eon Sanos got out, but he had him in a coquina clutch. I'm going to be honest. This is so crazy. Mm -hmm. Oh, super kick from Yacht Santos. Oh, look at this. Ripcord knee strike. Now, look at the smallest guy in the match pinning the biggest guy in the match. He oh. kicks that at one. Yeah. You're going to keep him down that quick. But wait. Oh. oh is he the smallest or is, or, is, mm -hmm. or is it? No, he's smaller than Andre King. Okay, I was just, I was just wondering. Oh, Spanish fly from Art Bar. Oh, and then he goes all the way across the ring and neck breaks Andre, Andre King. Oh! oh. Swan on. Went to the cover on King. That could be it. One, one. Two. No, one. not even a two count. Oh. Nice move by Yon Tantos. One and not... A two count on our bar. We can tell that all these competitors are very fresh. Oh yeah. And here comes oh snapper <laughs> takedown by Mark White. Very technical wrestler. You know, watch our bar elbow drop. And watch oh an elbow drop by Damian Drake as well. That was almost syn syn synchronized. Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Watch Andre King with Mark White. 
and watch Torture Rack. Uh oh. One of the smallest guy in the match. Poor guy. Oh. Oh. oh! Torture Rack neckbreaker. That just shows the power of Isaac Branch. Yeah, he picked. Uh, he did pick up the smallest guy. Oh, but look at this! Oh my God! Oh no, no. it's not gonna keep him up there for long. No, no. No, it, it, Isaac Rage didn't didn't even really have to. All he had to do was really step down. Oh, he's got the Quahin clutch locked in again. Uh oh, look at this. Will he tap out? Will mm -hmm. Santos tap out? Oh, big flipping kick onto. Mark White and huge move by Logan Gates. Is this so Did he tap on? out? No. The ref was out. Oh, the ref was knocked unconscious. He was, we didn't even see what happened there. Can we get a replay of what happened? No. I no, we can't. We can't afford this technology. Okay. That's fair enough. Oh, German. Oh! oh! He holds on for another one. Second German. Oh! Oh, my God. Not another one to the small guy. He's picking on the smallest oh! guy in the match. What a bully. I watch Logan Gates! Death Valley driver to, to Andre King. I got a drink, guys. One of the ringside ascendants held, gave me one. I had to pay five bucks for it, though. Yeah. Notice, notice how I haven't gotten a drink from here. And notice how you never get drinks from anywhere. Or a uh, sip of it? Too bad. I don't want your, I don't want your disgusting pop. Thank you. I don't like, I hate that pop. It's called raw, the raw soda it's called. I hate it. Yeah, I know. It's the least popular soda, but it was the cheapest one here. Yeah, I think the other one was like 10 bucks. That's seven. But I'm cheap. I'm not broke, I'm just cheap. Oh, big move by Damian Drake there. Watch Mark White. Oh my god, just huge moves. Left to right. Super kick by Elon Santos. How oh, goes the cover? One, two, Oh! I thought that was three. Or four, or one, two. Oh no! Sorry, it didn't count. Two, two. Lots of two. Two counts everywhere. Sorry, I m mistaken uh, Isaac Gray's foot with the referee. <laughs> I apologize. Oh wait, pin on to Damian Drake by Kevin one, Matthews. Two. No, and a kick Goes out. All one. Andre King. Two. No, and a kick out again. And I think the little guy, Eon Santos, is so sick of being picked on. Isaac Rage that he was going after him, but oh no! Oh! <laughs> that was disgusting, Jacob Brown. That was you. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I would never burp over commentary. I get paid too much. Oh, another German. That's the second time he's been hit with that three German suplex combo. Yes. So much action. No one's been eliminated yet. No, not yet. Eon Santos. Showing the fight to Isaac Rage. Oh, sends him down to the ground. So much action, I can't keep track of this. No, I know. Some guys need to be eliminated quickly, man. DDT by Eon Santos! <laughs> One, two, three! No, he broke it! Did he get him? No, yeah, he broke it up, I think. I don't know the ref. ref I don't. I don't know the referee. What did this? Was the biggest guy eliminated first? Like the smallest guy? I don't know. I. I think he was. One, two, throw. Oh, Mark White has been eliminated. Oh, man. And Isaac Rage. Rage. He He's, was eliminated. The first man eliminated, but Mark White's also out. That's the worst. Oh. One, two. No. Oh no! Kick out from Damon Drake. So, okay, Kendrick Matthews, Damian Drake, Eon Santos, Art Bar, Logan Gates, and Andre King are currently still in this match. Yep. And Goodbye, Mark White. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That was a nice, beautiful slide over He had there. a show-off before he got over. He's a, he's a big show-off. And look at this. Oh, belly belt. Oh, Damian Drake. Oh, Bulldog. You see, there's still too much people. I, want, I need a... I don't like odd numbers. Oh, wait, it's not an odd number. That's an even number. Man. Jacob Brown, I wish you went to school. I wish I went to school too. I, I wish you I, I wish I wish I didn't drop out of ninth grade. You wouldn't be working at McDonald's right now. Yeah. You know, they had one of those for sale days, they're like, hey, we will hire anybody. Okay. I'll I will i will take it. How did you become a manager, man? How did you become a manager? Um, because Wait. You know what? Okay, I'm done I'm done loving this lie. I know you're not a manager of the whole McDonald's. I know what they actually put your manager of. 
I asked. It's the garbage detail, I know. And the bathroom clean. Yes, I know. It may Apparently your job is to perfectly scrub the toilet. Because you're so good at it. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna live my life a lie anymore. Okay. Let's Fair. get back to this commentary. <laughs> I mean we are commentating. We're being paid to talk right now. People said we've been really dead on commentary. We don't talk enough about each other, man. We don't yeah. talk about how we're feeling and how we're doing. Because I'm ashamed of myself, okay? There's a reason why I don't... Oh, oh an Olympic slam. Oh, wait, one, far. two, no. no. Oh. oh, massive back suplex from Damon Drake. Damien. Damien Drake. Damien. Sorry. Damien Drake, look at the crowd. They're hyped. Here we go, cover. One, two... Oh no, Logan Gates disabled. Okay, go. Crucifix, but. Nice crucifix. Driver, crucifix driver. Oh! Elbow drop to the back of Eon Santos. But Damian Drake, look at this. Damian Drake. Eon Santos, the lone Spaniard's in trouble. No! Oh, he's able to close item. Oh, lumbar check. That lumbar check by Andre King. And he goes to the cover. One. He two, actually calls that. Three. He actually calls the lumbar check King's Crossing. Ah, That's what okay. he calls it. And he got eliminated. Yep. Logan Gates, Which, the American psycho. He's out of here, buddy boy. We're down to five. Kenneth Matthews, German suplex. No. A beautiful wing lock takeover. Or lifting wing lock takeover. Anyway. Oh! oh Jesus. Art Bar just having a snap in the corner over there. Oh, and I... I uh, a knee breaker right to the, a knee breaker right to the back of the head. Yep. Oh, look at our far coming in though, coming in hot. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Flips out of it. Uh oh, look at this. Oh, oh! big spinning suplex neck breaker. <clears throat> and Isaac. Oh, look at this. He's trying to get a second. One. Deion Santos. Two. No. No. He's trying to get a second elimination. Look at our far trying to pick up the scraps here. Our far man. I think he's taking some of the less damage in this match. I don't know. I haven't been. I haven't been able to really see. Oh, oh. I think he was going for a King's Crossing again. But he got broken up by our. Oh, let's try to steal the pinfall from Damian. One, Drake. two. Oh, he almost did too. Oh, Kendrick Matthews. Damian, Dam, Damian Drake is all by himself. Just when I say that, he's gonna attack. He's got the torch. Oh no, he slipped. Oh. Oh my, that, that looked like that hurt. Oh! oh! He dropped right on his head. Almost. Oh, he landed more on his shoulders, I think. Yeah. King's Crossing. But, oh! oh double, double, double Dion. I don't know, it's a reference from a oh! spear. And that shut you up. Good. Yeah. Oh. Damian Drake, man. Damian Drake has been someone that's been impressing me a lot in this match so far. Yeah, definitely. This has been a pretty incredible matchup here. Yep. Oh! oh! Huge move there. That's one of the moves he learned from his amateur background days, man. Yeah. Here we go. Look at our cover. Two. Two. No! Oh, just got the stout. That looked like Kendrick that was tried three. to steal that pinfall because Damian Drake left. Maybe a rookie mistake from Damian Drake there. And now, look at this. Another German suit. Oh. Oh, oh! Oh! Elbow drop. We're down to five. Five is more manageable. Kendrick Matthews. Stalling back suplex. Beautiful move there. You know what I'm saying? Oh, the vicious knee breaker to the back. Oh, dear. Gut wrench. Sloopex. Sloopex. <laughs> Shut up. You're not allowed to talk. And here we go, look at this. Oh, oh wait, Jan <clears throat> Santos. He, he's setting up Damian Drake. Oh, look at this, super oh. kick. Oh, oh God, he gets taken out by Andre King. Oh no, but look at this. DDT, Texas DDT by Art Bar. And Jan Santos One, hit Andre King with the two, suplex. Three. Shut up. And Kendrick Matthews has been eliminated. And we're down to four. Leon Santos, Andre King, Art Bar, Damian Drake. Uh oh, Drake. hold on. I don't think it's gonna be two for oh! loss. Oh, Spanish fly. 
Oh, that used to be two for long, three, four for long, two, three, and Eon Santos has been eliminated. Did he apply to him? No, he, it was, uh, Art Bar did it to Damian Drake. Then what happened to Eon? He had to uh, hit something. I don't know. I was paying attention to the Spanish fly. Yeah. And look at that signal like Boston Crab. Oh, up, Art Tapo. No, oh! So it's only Damian Drake, Andre King, and Art Bar left. And here we go. Our bar. Oh, massive kick to the back. And now, oh, they're double teaming the rookie there. Yeah. Well, I, well, it's not considered a rookie. Compared to these. Actually, no. Actually, Damian oh. Drake is the rookie. And oh, oh, oh. Well, Andre King is the youngest guy in this match. Yeah. It's weird to call someone younger than you a rookie. Yeah. It's pretty weird. Oh, you mean older? Oh, I mean older than you a rookie. Oh, yeah, Damian Drake's a rookie, but man, by looking at the way he wrestles, it doesn't seem like it. No, he, he looked like he picked up wrestling very quick. He did. Well, because I think I think he started wrestling shows like what, like two months after. Like it was very close, like about two months. And now Art Bar goes to the cover on Isaac Re or or Andre King, and he eliminated mm -hmm. Andre King. I think he hit the DDT there. Maybe. Oh wait, <clears throat> Art Bar not done yet. Oh! oh just missed him. I thought he was gonna drop him on Andre King. That would wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Damian Drake hurt. Oh, oh Spanish fly. He calls up the Texas fly, actually. Yeah, Texas fly. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> he kicked out. How is that possible? This is an excellent match to have right before intermission, though. Oh, yeah, exactly. One. One. Two. Two and ladies and gentlemen, you can see all these eight men at intermission selling their T-shirts, selling their eight by ten, selling whatever else they sell. I I saw uh, Art Bar selling Art Bar hats. So yeah, his nice like little cowboy yeah. Texas hats. Yeah. yeah. I might have to buy one if I can find the change in my wallet. I just pay five hundred nickels. It's fifteen dollars. Okay, I can't afford that. Can't afford that right now. I don't carry that much money on me. <coughs> you can't. You can't. You can't carry more. Maybe you can get a five dollar eight by ten from someone. Yeah. Oh, they're actually ten dollars. So. Sorry. You see. can buy your own two dollar eight by ten. Doing a few singing in the shower. Okay, we're gonna stop with that joke. It's not a joke. You have the eight by ten. You printed out the eight by ten. And they're yours. And you sold one. Remember. Yeah, okay. And we're down to the final two for this matchup. Oh, wait a minute. I don't like discussing my past. <coughs> that was only like two weeks ago. I know. Oh, wait a minute. Super. Oh! What a counter by Art Bar. That's showing some veteran prowess there. Oh, oh big chop. Man. Chopping up the rookie. And Texas DDT. That, that's it. That's got to be it. He's taking out two men with that move. One, One two, two. Three. Three. And Art Bar has won this matchup. I, I can't, I'm not legit surprised. I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be Isaac Rays. He was the first man eliminated in this match. I know. <clears throat> well, congratulations Art Bar. We're going to go to intermission. You can see this man. And we're back. <laughs> and here comes, oh, we got... The German, the German student of PWA yeah. Academy. There's a few students. Andre King. Yeah, but he's German. He's from Germany. He's, he's born in Germany. Germany. Well, he lives in Canada. Now. Lives in Canada now. Yeah. He doesn't struggle. Yeah. <clears throat> but he, he's, he's changed up his look a little bit. Thank God. I didn't like his last look too much. So it's just my honest opinion. Yeah. Just pants. He didn't look like he was ready to wrestle. He looked like he was ready to have a business meeting. Yeah, and he's cha changed his uh, face paint to uh, or his face stuff to white, mm -hmm. and he's got the ger he's representing mm -hmm. Germany, Berlin, man, Berlin, Germany, his hometown. And honestly, you know what? I'm looking forward to this matchup. I don't even know what this matchup is. I mean, Aristocrat is a good talent. He's great talent, <clears throat> but we'll see. It depends who his opponent is. How was your intermission? It was good. You know, I'm, I talked to uh, a couple of the wrestlers. I talked to some of the new guys. Yeah. See, I talked. I just I talked to like someone like Joby here, and he, he's actually backstage. They actually let him backstage. I was so happy. So happy for him. Oh, 
he's not even on the show tonight. I know he's not on the show tonight, but he <coughs> literally just came up here just to dress up. And stuff today. Yeah. yeah. I think so, I saw him stuff today. Yeah. And yeah. that's good. Cool. Um, oh, it's almost like oh, I almost forgot the theme song. It's been a little bit since most of it's been on the show. Yeah. It's been about two shows. You gotta love that. You gotta <coughs> love the Marachi dance and... Yeah. Luchirachi. Luchirachi. He, he likes Marachi. He likes Luchador, Lucha Libre. But he adds them two together because his style isn't Lucha Libre, not Mariachi. It's Luchirachi. Yeah. So Luchirachi, Josef Hernandez. I can't... Uh, if this is a one-on-one -on -one match, we don't know with Brett because Brett is Brett. Could be another six-man coming out right now. Oh, that, that, that's very long. So all these fire perks. That, that's gotta be hot. <laughs> so close to it. Yeah. Oh man, uh, we saw him stand up this, uh, those the pyro for the ritual set during the intermission. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't expecting him to come out here. I, I was expecting him to be. Well, he didn't come out. Rain attendant. Oh no, rain did. Don't listen to me, I was too busy talking to beat me urban, okay? Yeah, well, all the great five-star matches he's had. Oh, yeah. wow, oh. big shoulder takedown in the beginning. Oh, oh Mitt went for another one. Aristocrat's pretty, he's a very big competitor. Well, here's the thing with Aristocrat. I talked to Aristocrat. This is why he's got this fire right now. He He's upset because he thinks he should be global champion right now. Yeah, but he lost in the Battle Royale. <clears throat> He says he's sick of people like Sinister, worldwide talents that never trained with PWA, never went through the PWA Academy. He said he's sick of those kind of people because he's busted his butt. He's busted his butt, yet he hasn't gotten an opportunity for the title yet. Not no, even no, no, no PWA global champ training training has received a title opportunity. No. Aristocrat is not ha not happy about that, but you know what? He's well. Both these men are PWA trained superstars. Yeah, I mean, a little a little bit a little bit longer. Aristocrat. Yeah, Aristocrat. Josef came in like he, he, he originally had some had some, training. had some training in Mexico and stuff, and then um, you know you know you know the interesting PWA. fact he's never shown his face. Yeah, even at the training academy, from what I've heard from well, from I Brett, mean. I'm a personal friend of Jose Fernandez. I've seen Jose's face. Yeah. Well, yeah. You don't want to wear the mask all the time. You wouldn't want to look crazy. No. No. But he doesn't leave. He doesn't take his mask off till he's 20 minutes away from the venue. Yeah. He makes sure he's at least drove in 25 minutes away from the venue before he takes off his mask. Yeah. Because he doesn't want anybody to see his face. Because that just ruins the lucha libre pride. Yeah, and he's one of the few people that actually <clears throat> do that. Yeah. Well, he's the only masked man of PWA. Yeah, currently that we've seen, yeah. That's kind of, I guess we have Silverback, PWA's original monster. I guess, oh, big superplex. I guess we have PWA's original Luchador. Luchador. Or yeah. Luchirachi door. Probably yeah. the, no, it's probably PWA's only Luchirachi door. Yeah, I don't know anyone that does the style of Luchirachi. I don't know, maybe, maybe he'll maybe he'll open up a school for Luchirachi. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Oh, oh, oh. big interesting reverse DDT there. Yeah, and uh oh, he could be setting up for it. He could be set up for his big maneuver. Aristocrat looking to want to end this match early. Oh! oh! Huge move there. That's got to be it. Cover. One, two, no. 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 How many more matches do we have? This one and two more? Two more. Next, we have the main event tag title match, of course. What? It's not the main event. Oh, it's not the main event? No, it's not the main event. That's the problem. I thought it was the main event. No, it's coming up next but um but we do but we don't even know the, i don't even know the main event mm -mm. we haven't been told the main event me neither uh it, you, it <coughs> just shows that i don't look at the match graphics for these shows well also brett likes to keep things from his car yeah apparently he got that from wwe apparently like one of the mat gms at one of the shows was keeping everything from his announcers he's like i like that idea i'm gonna steal it yeah so now we're not allowed to know anything about the shows unless it's a like big match. Uh, unless it's like a known match going in. Yeah. You see, but you see, these fans just love it anyway. Mm -hmm. They love coming to PWA shows. Hey, you never know what you're gonna get when you come to a PWA show. Yeah. 
Oh, look at this. Jose Hernandez. I think whoever wins this match is going to have... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, Lucha won nine! And the Rachi Splash! That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. For the Plus cover. getting that off of legendary One. Mexican wrestler, Rey Mysterio. Three! Every time you hit someone with that movie, he's finished the match. Yeah. No one's ever kicked out of the Lucha won nine and the Rachi Splash. Beautiful. That was a pretty good match there. My, it was, it was kind of short, but hey. What a great match to come up to see after intermission. Especially because we have that. And it is now time. For the. Sorry, before you got cut off, what did you say? For the Tag Team Championship matchup. And. And it is now. And. What was I going to say before? Oh, I don't know what I was going to say. Anyways, it's time for the PWA Tag Team Championship. I'm very excited. These two. Jimmy Savage, the bald one. The one with hair, you're a dumbass. Um, and the one with hair, Jimmy Saturn. Yes, thank you. To the Ford. Sorry, I bought this guy's food. He's eating it with his hands like a barbarian. Anyway, the Saturn brothers, the last couple weeks, have not been having so much luck, though. No, they, they both have lost to the Careless Dynasty. However, We've known, and it's been a well-known fact, that the Saturn Brothers work better together. Yeah, absolutely. We've seen it in the first ever show when Jimmy Saturn got quickly eliminated from the Battle Royal. We've seen it in the one-on-one -on -one matches that they both had. They both had pretty good offense. Like, Jimmy Saturn was beating up Marco for pretty much the whole match. Until Marco came back. Yeah. But together, they're an unreckoned force. Because, you know, they work together. I, I love well. this theme song of Careless Just for Clans. Yeah. Lost. Sorry, I, I... And look at these, the, the cocky tag team champions. Yeah, you saw the Saturn Brothers were very ready, very serious coming out of the ring. These two, they just love to egg the fans on. Yeah, we got Kalos just for Clarence there. He wears that strap beautifully. They both wear the straps beautifully. They, they, it looks like it fits them. Well, I mean, <clears throat> they are the first ever PWA World Tag Team Champions. Yeah, we basically, we, here's what this matchup is. This matchup is brothers versus... Well, you, blood brothers versus, versus brothers. brothers. Like brothers. Not actual brothers, but such good friends, good brothers. Yeah. yeah. This match has been a couple weeks in the making now. We've been looking forward to seeing this match. We knew that no matter what, a couple weeks ago, no matter what happened with the singles matches, it was going to evolve into this. That was like two prequels before. Well, because the Low Zero one. and... And the and Saturn Brothers faced off. And Saturn Brothers won. And Saturn Brothers won for the number one contendership. Yeah. And now the tag team championships on the, the world line. tag team championships. I might add. Yeah, the PWA World Tag Team Championships. We have global We have global title and world. We just like everything to be worldwide. Oh, well, I'm still wondering what the main event could be. I have no idea, but I'm not really focused on that right now. I'm focused on watching what is sure to be a glorious. Match. Huh? And I'll be right back. Okay, you keep announcing. I gotta use the little girls room. Okay. Yeah. We're in a high school gym, bud. Yeah, they only have a little girls room. The little boys room out of order. Ah. Uh, Alright, and we got this tag team introduction out of the way. The ring announcer. Goodness, his voice is annoying. Did you sing the tag champions? Shut up. I, no, no, don't shut up. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I realized that you're my boss from McDonald's. I'm sorry. Don't. Don't do that. Okay. Carol's Christopher Clarence. Mark Gold versus the Saturn Brothers. This is going to be an excellent match up. Here they are. They're holding the championships. They're holding it around their chest. Uh, not their chest. Their shoulder. And now they're handing it off to the referee. As the referee raises up the championship t towards... The camera, and here we go. Saturn Brothers, we got Jimmy versus Careless. They're gonna start off this matchup, and the matchup is officially underway. And here we go. These two men. Oh, look at this. Oh, a hand press. Hurricane Rada from from Jimmy Saturn. What an excellent beginning to this matchup. And here we go. Oh, oh, look at this. He's coming back. Oh, 
sorry, I had to sign some autographs in the in the stall. Let's sign some. Okay. And here comes Jimmy Saturn. He's oh oh smashing his at Careless's head <coughs> head in the corner. Boom boom boom. He's boom. gonna have a Careless concussion. I don't think he cares. Yeah, he might. <laughs> he might not remember. Uh, might not remember. Let let, let alone <coughs> care. Oh wait a minute, Jimmy Saturn. Going up top, what could he be looking for? Here, something big, knowing the Saturn Brothers. Oh! oh! I was gonna say that prior to this, that that it's the matchup beginning was all Saturn Brothers. Oh, was it? And just now, Careless Christopher Clarence make the tag, and now he's got the big man locked in. Look at Careless! Oh, look at this! Oh! oh what a move! Samoan jump, <laughs> jumping neck breaker combination. Yep, beautiful move there by the Careless Dynasty. Careless Dynasty. That's a well oiled team. Same with the Saturn Brothers. The Saturn Brothers. Is I mean, they've they've known each other. Well, have they, yeah, they've known each other since pretty much birth. Well, besides one of them that's a couple years older. So, well, I mean, they're only two years apart. Yeah, like I said, a couple years older. Mm -hmm. And then you have the people who've known each other since. Well, I mean, the Saturn brothers probably have known each other a lot longer. They live together with their mom. Yeah. Father, you know. Yeah. They but, spend every day with each other. Yeah. They, I don't think that they got into that to like what they were like very much older. Yeah. Like thirteen or something. <clears throat> yeah. But you know, they're they're brothers. They're both it's brother versus brother. We'll just say it like that. Except they're not brother versus brother. What are you uh, going on about? I don't know, I'm <clears throat> I'm a little bit tired. I can tell. Yeah. You're also a little bit never mind. Alright. I think I've been mean enough to you the last two shows. You've been mean enough to me the whole time. Every show. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm not sure who I, I, I think I was pretty nice to you the first show. That's it. Yeah. That was because we're, we first got to meet each other. Big drop kick. Yeah. And here's the older brother, Jamie Saturn. Take it on. And how old? What's the difference between Gold and Careless? Uh, I, th I think they're about, what, three years? Mm -hmm. I think Careless is t 21. Or 22. Oh, and Marcus Gold or Mark Gold is nineteen. Nineteen. But he, but Mark Gold, and people forget that he was in that joke of a company called WWE, mm. and he was there for a little bit of time, and then you know what he did? He quit and joined PWA. Yeah. And that pay, that pay uh, drop must have been amazing. Yeah, but you know what? I can, I can see it. He wasn't happy. Well, I mean, NXT misused him. Used him on only you really used him on like what two? televised matches and then and house shows. shows yeah I mean when you're I mean he he has no competition <laughs> to guys like Cody Rhodes and stuff like that but I think Mark Gold is only ever in multi-man matches as well I, I think I think he was was he in that NXT championship tournament no 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 he's after I'm sorry and he I think he only did multi-man matches yeah I think he did like a six-man tag and then like a like a fatal four-way I don't I honestly do not know I used to watch NXT. I saw Mark Gold on there a few times. He changed up his gear a lot since then, too. Yeah. He used to have, like, pure gold gear. Yeah, now, now he's yellow and purple. Yeah. Well, he he claims it's gold. He likes to claim it's gold, but... I think he's colorblind. Yeah. It's pretty yellow. It is yellow. I, I honestly think that he, uh... <coughs> what's, it, what's it called? He, um... That paycheck drop really... Really, really... Tossed him. However, however... He's still very rich. Yeah. He's still very rich. But he's got family wealth, you know. He's rich because of his family. But he doesn't... Oh, okay. drop toe hold elbow combination. Uh, but yeah, I do like... I like his I like his new attire. <clears throat> yeah. I love, love his well, old attire. Well, his old attire was pretty plain. It was just like a one-piece yeah. golden... It wasn't even like the one-piece like that. It was like a shirt and kind of like so, so, so zoffel pants. So it wasn't a one-piece. No. Oh, well, it was made to look like a one piece, right? Yeah, I don't know, but but he definitely looks a lot better now. And look at this, makes the tag. <clears throat> well, he's also gained a bit more muscle since. Oh, oh no! Guy. Uh oh! Oh dear! He's he's lift him up. And oh, look at this! Oh dear! The towering no. elbow drop. Oh, oh careless oh. catastrophe! The careless catastrophe off of the shoulders of Mark Gold. One. No, no he didn't even get a one count. Cause oh, oh, look at this! Oh! And now look at this. Now Jamie Saturn's all by himself. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh face buster. 
I, I don't know what the variation was, but I knew it was a face buster. Yeah, he did good. Good job. And look at this. Oh, went for a snapmare no. takedown. It didn't work. Oh, that wasn't smart. Don't raise your hand and run to characters for clients. He's been wrestling for what? Like like six years? Something like that. Something like that. Oh, look at this. He's looking for diving fist drop. Oh! And look at you this. You know what he looks really similar to? Who? You ever watch SmackDown? No. Uh, yes, you have. Yes, I have. Road 99. He looks really similar to Road 99, man. Oh. Except, except Road 99 is like in his 30s. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's the father. I don't know. Long lost brother or something. Long lost brother. Yeah. I don't know. Weird. They just look very similar. Oh, he's beard on the other side, and Careless takes advantage. Yeah, I kind of find it weird. Like, Careless wears like hot pink. Yeah. And he wears like neon blue. Yeah. Yeah, both bright colors. Yeah. It must just be a coincidence, though. It's gotta be. And Russian leg sweep. Sorry, I got lost there. And now look That's at this. Good. Lifts him into the corner. Tag. Oh no, they're what? going the opposite way. Oh no. They're going to call this the golden catastrophe. <laughs> or just How the careless, careless breaks, breaks his back catastrophe. Oh! oh! Shrugs it off like nothing. He did it like nothing. And look at this cover. What? Again? again the Jamie, it was... It, he oh, Jimmy again. Besides, besides Mark Gold being oh. the one hitting the elbow drop, you could literally put that in repeat. Yeah. Oh, but again, Jimmy eats a huge move. And, and Mark Gold, he's showing off the brutal style of his. Yep. I mean, he, he is also a five-year veteran of wrestling. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh. A very talented is Mark Gold. But so was the Saturn Brothers. We're talking all oh, about... Oh, look at that. It's a spinning slap. We're talking all about Golden Careless here, but we got to talk about the Saturn Brothers, man. They got a lot of skill as well. Yeah. Very yeah, they're much. They're much older. They're much more... Oh, well, not much more experienced, but they're... I mean, yeah. A little bit more experienced. They both got it about 10 years of wrestling. Actually, Jamie has 12. Jimmy has 10. So. Yeah, so they have a, a, little, a lot more. A couple years on them. A couple years on them. But you know what they say, the young, the, the youth, the youthness of the Careless Dynasty can definitely help them out mm. in the long run. They could have very... I mean, Jamie and Jimmy aren't old or anything. No, they're, they're like, still young. They're like in their, like, more, like Jamie's 26. Maybe? No, Jamie's 20, uh, Jamie's 30 and Jimmy's 28. Ah, okay, see, I don't know their ages. And Mark Gold, he's been absolutely... Dominating oh. Jamie's hat, and he needs a tag to Jimmy. Jamie, Jimmy hasn't been in this matchup for quite a bit. Yeah, it's been a little bit since Jamie's been in, but it's not looking very good for Jamie right now. Uh oh. Oh! oh sends him face first off the ropes. Or neck first, excuse me. Oh, oh, into the corner here. Oh! oh. The long legs of Jamie taken in. Very good. Oh! Wheelbarrow stunner. This could be this could be the momentum that Jamie needs. Oh, oh, oh tilt a world power How slam. much power does this man have? Jamie's strong guy, man. Don't don't take his skinny skinniness for a, anything. Yeah, and oh, he doesn't make the tag. Oh, big punch. Oh, my, oh what the oh, heck is oh, going no, on no, here? No, no, no. Oh my, no, Jamie no, wants to no. win this match. I don't think he cares how. Oh no! Oh, no, no, no my God! Oh! oh! Mark Gold is dead. He's he, he's got to be out of it. Oh, and knee drop to boot. Now look at this. Oh, now he's getting thrown up to the gymnasium. Remember, uh -oh. Jamie cannot win the titles by countout. No, I don't. But I think he just wanted to do some damage onto the floor. Oh! Oh my God! The gymnasium. Oh, wait a minute. He sweeps him on the outside. And look at this. Elbow oh, drop. Big elbow. Look at Mark Gold. Is he? What is he doing? Uh oh. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god. Wait a minute. Look, look, at, this. This. look at this. Wait. No. Nine. He's caught him. Ten. He knew what he did. He knew what he did. He knew what he did. He suckered 
Jamie out to the All right, outside. that was this matchup. Let's get ready to the next matchup. Wow. I'm, I'm in su complete surprise here. What the heck, guys? It that is, match, wow. That, that Mark, Gold, Mark Gold knew what the hell he was doing. Oh, man. What a match. Crappy ending, but... Oh, uh -oh. oh, boy. This is the man who debuted... Three shows ago? Two shows ago. I don't know, like Chase Michael David. And yeah. They teamed up for that. Three show. shows. Three shows. Yeah. So this is his third show. Yes. Okay, and he's representing Japan. He is probably the deadliest striker in PWA. There's a lot of good strikers, don't get me wrong. But definitely up on the top top three. Definitely in the top three. I don't know. I I don't know if he's a good striker as Tyson Jack. I I don't know. Maybe we have to put him in the match to find out. Yeah, I I like to do that. But Tyson Jackson, he's known for his kick to finish that match. Yeah. For the uh, the psycho kick. You see, he like Karaoke has got it all. He's got the he's got the. So this is interesting. I wonder one on one match, Kato. I don't got what? Maybe, maybe he's facing Tyson Jackson. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, oh no! We got Michael David. New attire for Michael David as well. His opponent from three shows ago. Are they teaming up again? I don't know. I, I don't know. Michael I mean, David and Kato tag team match number two, guys. They they won their last match. They beat Tommy Drake and Richard Knight via roll up. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't remember to, to be honest. It was they did the springboard. He, uh, Michael David pinned Tommy Drake with the springboard roll up. Yes, that's right. Okay. So we're gonna see another tag team with them. Awesome! I cannot wait. I enjoyed their last tag match. New attire for Michael David. I like it. Let's see. Let's see who their opponents are. Yeah. Wait. Why aren't they standing together? Why? Why? They just. What? Put uh, I don't know. Maybe they just made a tag out there. Pre-match pre ritual? I don't know. What? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I don't know. That's not good. That's not very oh, good. Man. No. That's, that's, not, that's not good at all. Uh oh, oh and here a, a new the, the other Japanese star. Yeah, another Japanese star. This guy focused in Japan more on hardcore wrestling. Yeah. That's some that that's Bloody probably that's, that's, that's probably um Kadioke's weak point. Hardcore? Hardcore. Yeah. Like he's very he saw him. He's very technical. He can move very quickly. Mm -hmm. And his strikes are deadly. Well, this man is used to spiking people with cheese gritters. Well, I mean he's also got some deadly strikes too. And it's deadly some strikes. of the, some of the most hardest thugs on chop that I've ever seen. Yeah. Or, and the forearms to the chest, some of the biggest studs I've ever heard. Yeah. So is he gonna be, so what kind of match is this? I don't know. Bet. Maybe a bet? I don't, I don't know. I mean, Kale and Michael David are kind of standing together, like they were talking. But yeah. Because they're, they're, they're mutual friends, they're friends, so they're tag team. Yeah. So I, oh. I, this could still be a tag match, but everyone could be doing nine things separately. Yeah. Which, which <laughs> has happened before. <coughs> exactly, it has. So, <clears throat> and let's see. No, Santira is like looking towards the entry ramp. Like, this is an opponent. There's no way Santira. Hey, hey look who it is! Guy. No, get him out of here! Get him out of here! No, I don't want this guy in the. Why is this guy in the main event? <sighs> oh, what the hell put me back? The dart. It's not a sleep dart, dude. It's just like a dartboard dart. Oh, there's a note attached to it. It says, I'm kind of losing blood here. No, you're fine. It's going to really get you. It says, You better not talk crap about me in my match tonight, you bloke. William King. And it's a fatal four way match, man! Yeah, I can't wait for it. Sorry, that dart shot really hurt. Yeah, you'll be okay. Don't cry about it. 
All right, here we go. We got we had a four way. We got the two Japanese stars going after Wait, each other. Wait, I was first. just told. This is a fatal four way elimination match. Oh no. That that's a deadly combination right there. Who do you think is gonna be eliminated first? <coughs> William King. Why? Because it's William King. William King's a great competitor. He's almost undefeated. Keyword almost. I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of him. Why not? I, I, he's never done anything wrong to you. He's done plenty of things wrong to What has he done to you? He has taken my coffee and spilt it all my spilt it all over my suit. Okay. The one suit I own. Okay. He stole the keys to my car and stole my car. Okay. Oh, he left you that bag full of crap. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's my rent a car. Yeah. He, I rented a car and <clears throat> oh, he, didn't he send that present to your apartment that was filled with goo and I, like you opened it and the goo came out? Yeah, that too. You posted about that. You're pretty pissed off. Yeah. And then you know he just got someone to throw a dart at you. Yeah. Oh well, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna stand for this. No. No. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna challenge him to a match. <laughs> In about three years. Oh, okay. You gotta train first. I gotta train first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna love to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna start training. I want. I want to get involved <laughs> in these shows. You know. Yeah. I'll help you do that. Uh, how are you going to afford wrestling gear and wrestling training? Looks like I have to um, sell a couple things at my place. To blow up doll. Yes. Um, I mean, maybe I'll steal from the cash register down at the bar below me. I don't know. We'll see. Right, didn't they just close down like two days ago? Because of that cockroach infestation? Oh, yeah, they. The guy bit open the chicken wing and 30 cockroaches came out. Oh, that's so much stuff. Okay, I gotta move out of that apartment, man. Uh, what, what place is it gonna that's, be? That's the cheapest apartment in the city. I right? know, I, I know. It's like, it's the only one you can afford. Every other apartment's $200 more expensive per apartment. Yeah, like that, that, that one's only like, what, like, that's only like a 500. Up to a 500 month, yeah. I don't know, I'll have the, I have the bank take care of the rent for me. Mm. So so glad you did that. Yeah. Oh, oh backstabber to no partner and a pinfall. This could be it. One, two. No, he backstabbed his friend. Okay, no. let's get back to this matchup because I honestly haven't been paying too much attention. Well, I mean, we're talking about some serious topics here, man. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh. 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 Sentira and Sentira and he crashes down to the mat and look at this goes to the cover. Teddy. Okay, one, two. No. And Uki Properly just kicks out. Oh no. Oh, there goes Michael David. <clears throat> Thanks to courtesy of British's biggest bitch. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting Brett Michael. I mean, Michael David. <laughs> another Michael. another independent wrestler that refuses to appear at our show. Yeah. He says, Dear PWA. He's a Hamiltonian, some... bud. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, uh, there was other reasons. Involving you, anyways. It shouldn't involve me. I don't even know him. He's afraid of getting cockroaches. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, trust me, I'm afraid of getting cockroaches. Why do you think after my show I take a 25 minute shower every day? I don't know why. That's literally the first time I've heard about this information. Because oh. I have to sit beside you for the whole show. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> it's not like I carry all my clothes, you know. I don't know. They could. They could put eggs on your clothes. They could. Uh, that's very true. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was going to be yeah. I thought <clears throat> William King was getting eliminated there. I fall on that super kick. And now... Oh, dear. Oh. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Drop kick right to the face of Santura and Nugi. He had that Fujinaro armbar lock. So just about to lock it in and got knocked out. Hey, maybe maybe that broke William King's arm. Yay! Oh, no. He's getting oh, wait. Up. Now Michael David and Kato going at it. <laughs> Oh, he's got him up on the top rope. This can't be good. Oh. What's he going to do here? Oh! oh. Uh-oh. Superplex time. 
Oh, oh, big move by Michael David. And now look at this. Anugi picking up the dead scraps and throws Michael David out of the ring. Michael David's been thrown out quite a bit. And now look at this. William King is also going after Michael David. And followed by Tyler. Oh, Duncan. saving his partner, though. Uh oh. oh. They're, they're going over all over this gymnasium. It's not like the last matchup where it's actually disqualification or countouts. Yep. And here comes Taddy Oke. He's got him up. Oh. Oh. Oh, and a nice DDT <clears throat> from Anugi. Oh, no. Oh, and now Anugi wants William King. Yeah. Everyone beat up William King. And then here comes Taddy Oke. Oh, Michael David went right off the steps. Uh oh, look at this. Fireman's carry. Oh, oh big kick. Huge. Kick to the side of the head. Good night. I think I think William King is knocked out. One, One two, two, three. three. Yeah. Celebration. Stop singing. I'm sorry. God. Yeah, I'm so happy. God, if William King comes over here and kicks your ass. Uh, I don't want that. Good. And that look at Michael David and Tadayoki working together to take us into your Anugi. And oh wait, but now. Cage him! Oh! Nice of me, right to, right, to his, <clears throat> right to his good friend's face. Michael David, where's he from again? I know we got two, I know we got two Japanese superstars, but... I think from Canada. I don't know. William King, the slower loser. Oh, he bloody broke! I'm sick of this goddamn promotion! Jacob Brown, why are you looking at me funny, bro? Look at <laughs> oh! Oh, I'm looking towards the ring, you imbecile. Uh, he already left. That was a pretty hard spot, man. Yeah, I think he dislocated my jaw. Oh, stop crying. Keep it happening. Here, give me that. Oh! That's fixed. There you go. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Feels a little bit better. Still kind of hurts, but... You have some tears in your eyes, though. There you go. Okay. Don't cry. It'll be okay. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's focus on this match. William King has been eliminated. And now, oh, oh. We're, like, I, like we said, we're down to three. It is elimination pinfall. Oh, oh what a knee breaker. Kato is currently outside the ring right now for this moment. And no, oh, look at this. Whip some, oh, whip some in the corner. No. Oh, one for a super kick, but... Oh, look at this! He got caught! Oh! oh. oh God, his head's stuck on the ropes. Uh, and now look at this Anugi stealing his partner. One! Leg. Two! No! I was going to say he stole a Tadioka's partner's pin. Mm -hmm. Or no, Michael David's partner's pin. Yeah. Tadioka's pin. Tadioka's pin. And now look at this. Oh, he hits it again! Oh! oh. oh. And look at this, and if he's not done with him. Maybe the two Japanese superstars want to test who the better Japanese superstar is. They're each going shot for shot. I, I don't think this is anything personal from Kato, though. No. I think it's just everyone for themselves. Yeah. you got to understand that in this business or else you won't succeed. Exactly. Oh, dear. He pushed Tadioki away, but I don't know. Oh, oh, he saves his partner. I think he was because he was going for the pedigree there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, saved himself. Saved Michael David, but... Kind of took himself out there. Yeah. Big punches there. Ah. Oh, long show. Come on, wake up. This is the main event, man. You have to get excited. Yeah, here we go. It's Taddy Oke. <clears throat> We've had some great matches today. Juan yeah. Santos. So oh, back. oh. A beautiful STO for that the cover. One, two. two. Michael oh, David, oh. I think, was trying to save. Oh, wait oh. a minute. Roll up. Look at this. One. Two! No. no. And here comes Michael David. I think he's saying it's over. Oh, but Anugi's showing the smart ring awareness. Oh, no. That means I think his partner's going to have to get it. Oh, oh, one for it. But look at this. He caught him. Fireman's carry. Oh! oh he out. Oh, we went for a super kick again. Remember, when these two had a one-on-one -on -one match, it was one of the best matches PWA has ever seen in its young... Existence, yeah, 
probably probably up there for my second favorite matchup. And now you got the triangle choke locked in. Oh. For oh, whatever reason, Santira breaking that up. <clears throat> I guess he wants to eliminate both of them himself. Well, I mean, I think he would get a lot of credit being able to eliminate both Kato and Michael David. Yeah. The tag team. Yeah. Oh, look at this. And now he's got that arm bar locked in. Arm bar is locked in. And no. Tadioke is able to get out of it. Oh! Backstabber to his good friend the second time. One. Two. two no. no. You know, that move has a literal uh, meaning, and, uh, oh, oh, good night. No, he's not done with Kato. He knows. He knows from facing him in the past it's going to take more than that. Oh, oh, how about a back suplex? Oh, he, he, again, saves his partner, but just to hit himself, hit him himself with that brain buster, that deadly brain buster. I said brain buster. <laughs> Brain Buster. There we go. And they're not. They're trying to attack a Nugi, but no, none of them's allowing it. You mean Kato? Uh, yeah. Lex, you see? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. That ended that. Yeah. And Michael David, now he's got a Nugi in the corner. Not for long. Oh, and a big knee to the gut. Oh, look at this. Sing leg takedown. A one for Boston Crab, but his partner now saves it. And now look at this. And oh, oh! What a vicious knee strike. And Bicycle I, knee, man. I think a Nugi felt that one. Oh, yes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, look at this. Arm bar. Arm bar. Oh, leg. Arm bar leg combination. It's like a arm leg bar. I don't get how that hurts your leg too much, though. I don't know. I don't even get how it hurts his arm too much, either. Yeah. I don't know. I think that's just for theatrics. Yeah. Maybe this could be effective. I don't know. Maybe one of maybe maybe it stretches out your leg to the point where it really hurts. Maybe I don't know. I I can't think of a I, I like that leg DDT. I don't know. Oh, we took them both out with that flying uppercut. And now look at this <clears throat> Russian leg sweep. And Michael, that was I, I'm sorry, but I heard that I heard that uppercut from here. Yeah, it was crazy loud. Right oh dear! Back oh dear! Oh! It's like he went back <clears throat> in the head and then it whiplashed <clears throat> all the way to the the chest. Of <clears throat> <clears throat> How you doing, bud? Oh, and now look at this! Now I got the knee armbar again. And again, not not enough to put anyone away. Not enough. Not enough. <clears throat> oh oh no! Uh oh! Is he going for it? I think he's going for it. Oh! oh Falcon Arrow. With some spinning <clears throat> theatrics. Oh, yes. And here we go. Santira Nugi's got him up. <clears throat> Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, Torture Rack Breaker. Torture Rack Breaker. You got it right. Good job. You got one move right in your career. Good job. And now look at this. Fireman's carry. Oh. oh, he flips out of it. Not enough. Oh, no. Oh, <clears throat> Anugi. He's able to capitalize. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. Do you like very, that? very, very sick, I see. No, oh. I got something stuck in my throat. That's about it. Ah, uh, okay. And now, oh, Anugi working the arm of Karaoke. <coughs> and now, look at this top rope. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh dear. This can't be good. Definitely not good here. Anugi, he's coming off. Oh, oh! oh diving clothesline. Oh, wait, here comes Michael David. Oh, but he allows Anugi to actually hit the move. First time. Yeah. First time. And it's last. been a while since William King has been eliminated. Yeah, it definitely has. It almost felt like William King hasn't even been in this match. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, my God, he nearly decapitated Anugi. Jesus. The sad thing is, I don't even think that's the worst thing that Anugi's went through in his career. No, definitely not. I've once seen that guy go through... A table that had a sheet of glass and underneath 45 cactuses. Oh my goodness. No, I don't want to do that. They called it the California Death Match. Yeah. Oh! oh it's carry. <coughs> kick. Roundhouse kick. There Roundhouse we go. Roundhouse kick. There you go. We need to okay. smite you, kid. You are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Big move here by Michael David. Oh, Brain Buster. Big move. 
This is that's a move that he puts away his opponents with. Mm-hmm. And and look at this, Taddy. Okay, back in the ring. Oh, well, except when he faced Tommy Drake and hit him with three double stomps off the top rope. Yeah, that was deadly. Oh, 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 oh! I think this is payback for the brain buster. That's what you ever. That's what you ever trying to dig. That's what you ever for trying to attack me. Okay. He finally got the sense. So good job. Yeah. This is a long main event. This is going on for almost twenty minutes at this point. Mm-hmm. I love it though. I love long main events. Oh yeah, better definitely. than having five minute main events. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh oh, look at this, Anugi. No, Michael David. Able. Look at it. Now we got a sequence between these two very athletic competitors. Oh oh. And here we. Oh, super kick from Taddy. Okay. <clears throat> and now look at this, Anugi. He's calling for it, saying it's over. Uh oh. Oh! 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 Splash! And he was winning for Michael David. Michael David kind of injured himself on that splash there. Yeah, well, he hit his knee right off the apron. Or right off the ring. Right off the ring. Yeah. He kind of landed knee first by accident there. <clears throat> and now a newbie, he's just stalking Tadioke. And he's waiting for Tadioke to get up. I don't I don't know the strategy with this one. Me neither. Oh, oh look at this. He's oh! oh! Yeah, well, did he fall asleep in the middle of the corner? <laughs> no. I think he was just waiting, but I didn't. I don't think he expected Tadioki to charge at him like that. I mean, he was very quick. He was less. He was there in less than a second. Mm -hmm. And now I think he's doing this arm bar, leg lock combination again. <coughs> that could be it. That could be could it. Be. For, could be. For Anugi. Tadioki, can you get the matchup one? No. 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 Gotta hurt though. Can't okay, feel too nice. <laughs> Oh, and, and Hanugi sends him on the outside. And now, whoa! You missed it. What? The the rope almost went. It went below the apron. It kind of, it kind of um, like kind of got caught. On who? On uh, Hanugi. Mm. And now look at this. Oh, oh! <laughs> what an arm drag, arm <clears throat> drag caught. I'm good. Modified. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You're good. Yeah. And now vicious stomps. Those don't feel nice. Oh, what a hurricane rod from Tadio. Okay, this is an action-packed triple threat match. Yeah, very action, very action-packed, man. I think, I think honestly, you could have rang the bell. You could have rang the bell, and it could have been a triple threat match. People don't yeah. even remember that William King was in this match. Probably not, <clears throat> except maybe your face does. Oh, yeah, I know. I still, it's starting to swell up. And uh oh, look at this. He's attempting it for the first time in this matchup. He's attempting it. The fans are excited for it. Oh! Oh! oh Michael David knows his friend too well. Super oh, kick! But Kato maybe doesn't know his friend that well. One. Kick coming. Two. No. no. That's not enough. He's hit him with, what, three super kicks? <clears throat> the well, brain buster. Yep. It's been absolutely insane. Oh, speaking of the brain buster, I think he's oh. going for it again. Oh! And look at smart by Kato though, rolling out of the ring. Oh, but look at this, Michael oh, David. We got, oh, we got another one. And now he's going up to oh, the top Oh no, rope. double stomp party coming. Double stomp party, I think that's what he's going to do now. Oh. Double stomp! Oh, man. And that's got to be it. That's got to be it. One, two, three, three no! no! What? What? This match has been awesome. What an excellent triple threat match this has been. Yes, very, very great. Oh. And, I think and Kato almost sent back out of the ring. Yeah. <coughs> oh, and he gets sent back to the outside. Oh, but Michael Day was following him. Maybe not smart. I would I would have stayed on. Uh, on. Oh, he oh. went for a spear. God, he still hit him. Yeah, he hit him he hard. He crunched him with it. And now, oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> went for it, but no. An arm drag combination. The two Japanese superstars on each other. And uh oh. Oh dear. The oh, power. The oh. oh. Power advantage goes to Sentira Nugi. Oh, absolutely. Oh no, no, no. Oh dear. Uh oh, this modified knee bar. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god, he's got that arm too. Locked in. Caddy Oh, oh but... saving his partner, but he stared at him for a minute. Maybe wanting to see him in a little bit more pain. Oh, and a suplex down. from Anu Anugi. Snap suplex. Yeah. And here comes 
Anugi sends him in Michael David in the corner. Oh, oh beautiful shoulder tackle. So Terry Anugi, man, he's an underrated wrestler here. Yeah. He's one of the best guys we have on the roster, to be honest. Oh! oh! Suplex power slam. Beautiful move there. Made famous by former WCW superstar Goldberg. Oh, you mean that raw, the raw, the raw general manager? Mm -hmm. oh. oh, man. Sorry. Sorry. Horrible nightmares. The one episode of Raw I watched, he appeared on there. Mm. I'd never wanted to watch Raw again. <clears throat> and here we go. Oh! And a sweep to the ground. Very common. Very common mover among these wrestlers. So even if one's not trying to go for the quick pin. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now look at this. Oh! Oh, watch this. No! Backbreaker. Big backbreaker. Break in the back. And this is still a triple. People forget that this is an elimination match, and now you got the triangle choke. Now, this move actually hurts. This submission hold is deadly. Well, it's wrestling, man. A lot of moves hurt. I mean, that submission hold is deadly. <clears throat> yeah. But Michael David able to fight out of it. And this, and and there's still two more people that have to be there. Oh! oh, good night. There's still two people that have to be pinned. Yeah. People, I, people, I think people, I think William King's like already like on. I think he's already back to England. <laughs> well, I mean, he doesn't love it in England anymore. Oh yeah, but I thought he was gonna travel. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't know him that well. Well, actually, he does live in England, but he. Does. Oh look at this! Fireman's carry flip out. He picked him two. up for fireman's carry flip out. That was William awesome. King has two outs. He has one in England, one in North America, because he does. He gets a lot of North Amer American bookings as well. Yeah, that makes sense. But oh, I think he's right staying now. in North America for. Uh, the next two weeks or something. Like that. Oh, now look at this. He picked him up. Oh, and Michael David will slip out reverse DDT. I'm saying that he could have been back to his house already. Maybe. That depends where he lives. I don't know where he lives. Michael David. He's setting up a noogie. Holy, these guys have been in, in the same match for about 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. It's been insane. Honestly, longer than twenty minutes. Oh, like five minutes. No, I mean like in together in the match. Oh, like just these three? Yeah. Yeah. These guys have been killing it, man. <laughs> and only like five. Oh, minutes. oh! Snap, German suplex. That's it. One, two, no. no. Wow, Michael. Davis. What's it gonna take to keep one of these three men, two of these three men down? We asked that question a lot against Cato and Michael David, but there was eventually a winner. So, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! How much more punishment can Michael David take, though? I don't know, but he lives, he's lifting him up. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh! What a kick. That could be it. Finally, could that be it? I don't know. We're going to have to see. One. Two. two no! no! Oh, my. What the heck, man? Uh-oh. He's setting up for the big move. Can he finally the hit front it? Flip DDT, the Rising Sun DDT. Oh! He hit it. I say he goes to the cover on a noogie. One, two, no! The Rising Sun DDT has not finished the match. That's about only like the second time he's hit that, and it wasn't enough to put it away. The last time he hit it, it was against Michael David and finished the match. Yeah. I think that's the first time, even like in Japan and stuff, that that move has been kicked out of. Yeah. Oh, super kick. Oh, oh my God. The bounce off the ropes. And uh-oh. Look at this. He's deadlift German suit. Oh, oh, God. That could be it. One, two, two. No. no. What the heck? No, this match is never going to end. I'm going to tell you that. They're going to fight till tomorrow. Oh, yeah. We, guys, we only have this venue for like another. Oh, wow. Wait, what? The arm? The arm? Oh, my God. The Made famous by Pentagon Dark. Dark. Breaking. If you remember, I remember one episode of NXT, Pentagon Dark was on, and he broke Rip Impact's arm. Yeah. Do you guys remember that? Yes, I, I actually, I do remember that. Actually. Rip Impact. He came in for a special NXT appearance for the NXT title. Oh, brain busted. And Pentagon Dark broke his arm. Took him out of action. I think I knew he was dead. Oh.
Oh, you mean a new gear? Kato! Kato, that's what I meant. One, two, three! Oh, no! What the heck is... Yo, what are they feeding Kato in Japan, man? Steroids. Just bowls full of steroids. I, one thing I've noticed is some terrorists have not even really been able to hit that move yet. No. Oh, look at this German oh. suplex! And that sends them all to the outside. Apparently. And look at this. Oh, one for the suplex, but no. I think went for that brain buster. Oh, look at this. Oh. TKO. Oh. TKO. And That's Michael it. David stealing the pin. One, one two. No. Oh. What's it going to take? What's it going to take to put away either of these three competitors? Something. Now both of them are trying to get at Teddy Oke. He's like, I want this guy. Well, I think they both noticed that he's literally gotten up from everything. Oh, God. Oh, and Noogie finally gets oh. him to himself. Oh, spinning heel kick. Oh, oh, oh. sling blade. Smart man. I think he's sitting to take a breather, to yeah. be honest. I think he's just really tired. Oh, I thought you were setting up for that super kick. Hyping up the crowd. The crowd is all on their feet, man. They're super excited. This has been one hell of a main event match. I can see why this was made the main event, to be honest. Oh, oh! oh! That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. There cannot be anything left. No! <clears throat> Arm drag from Anugi. Or from. Not Anugi. From Tadioke. Tadioke. Sorry, I'm so tired. I'm so excited. So for racist, this main man. I'm so t tired and so excited for this main event that I'm mixing up names. <clears throat> yeah, two Japanese people, of course. Okay, it was a mistake. Relax. A racist oh, one. look at this. Uh, oh! Oh, look at this combination by the by Anugi and Tadioke. Oh, oh, suplex. And Michael David very smartly getting out of the ring. Oh! Oh! That's gotta be it. One, two, three! Anugi said Tira Anugi, the Japanese deathmatch specialist, has been eliminated finally! Remember, William King was eliminated earlier. Yeah. I, I, he was eliminated, what, five minutes into this match? Like, five, six minutes, yeah. And and it took like another 20 minutes. Oh, wait oh, a minute! Scotty, okay! Oh! I'm out of my seat right now, guys! Out of nowhere, he hits that move! Go to the cover! One, two, three! Kato Tadayoke has won the match, but won a match. Oh my goodness, oh. that was an excellent triple threat match. <laughs> I think the Fatal 4 Royal Fighter is pretty good, too. He wants to know what he is. <laughs> no, that, that was a match on the phone right there. Holy crap, man. Well, thanks for yeah not quitting on me. Alright guys, thank you for watching PWA. This was the sixth episode. I was Billy Burton. I'm Jacob Brown. Okay, and out of character guys. We're going out of character now. Okay, yeah. We're doing a new series after... We know PWA is going to be our longest running series. Yeah. We're doing the Call of Duty stuff still. And we do have a new series that we're possibly going to be doing. Yeah. Tell them about it. Um, so like you said, we have um, PWA. PWA and... Um, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. And... We have a single player gameplay for you, or is that not it? Oh, that's right. Okay, I completely forgot. I'm super sorry. We have TEW 2000 and... Doesn't matter what year, but it's TEW, the simulation game. Guys, we're going to build two separate brands, bring our own characters, indies, WWE, doesn't matter. We're going to put them in. We're going to get this going, and we're going to run our own brands. We're going to compete with each other. See who gets the better rankings at the end, because each show gets ranked. So, like, out of all the shows, like, oh, each match gets, like, 2.7, whatever, whatever. Yeah. And, like, the final, it'll give you, like, a final ranking. Like, this show was, like, 4.5 out of 5. Yeah. And then, like, your show would be, like, 4.2 out of 5. Whatever, right? And we'll see each week what show did better. But I think the first episode is going to be mostly focused on setting everything up. Yeah. Okay. And maybe the first show. Maybe. We're gonna work on draft. Uh, I think I think we're I think we'll do the draft. I know. I think we'll do that first. Yeah. Set, set up the rosters and then we'll get into that. So I'll probably do like the second or third episode where we maybe, start who knows? It, it, we could always do it maybe the first week. It'd be a long video, but we don't really need to edit anything. 
yeah, or at all. So we can just literally still be on the computer already. So let's get right up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first episode, uh, the, the first episode of PWA since we stopped doing universe mode, guys. Thank you for tuning in to uh, us talking way after the show is already over. And hope you guys enjoy the new name. Yeah. DG, DG Productions. DG Productions, guys. We will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be the TEW one after this one. Yes. Alright, guys. Peace out. See you later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye.